I don't have a huge bet in Solana, but I have a bet. Global macro investor Raul Paul just made a bold prediction on Solana. Now, right before this, we did just talk about Ethereum. How high will Ethereum go in 2023? I will link this clip down below. But with Solana in 2023, what makes Raul so bullish? I totally understand for all the reasons you mentioned why Ethereum has sort of maybe some of the best upside potential with some of the least risk in crypto. But what is the why Solana? Because it seems like they have so much sell pressure from the FTX and owned a lot of it. What makes you bullish? Because everybody thinks the same thing. Everybody got forced out. Everybody's like, the chain breaks. Tell me something we don't know. Do you assume that that um, the team at Solana, who are very smart, don't know that and haven't been working on it? Of course they have. Um, well, all the VCs are all stuck. Does Everybody knows this. So... So then you've got to say, okay, what happens if everybody's wrong? What happens if it is actually that vibrant ecosystem that has the second largest NFT community and is onboarding a lot of people and has retail stores and has a mobile phone and is doing deals with Meta and is, okay, well, then the price is well wrong. So I just flip up the chart of ETH in 2018 and then put it against the chart of Solana, they're pretty much identical. ETH did 47x from that low. And we got down to nine bucks or whatever it was, or eight bucks in Solana. I mean, it's already up a decent amount already. And so you've got to ask yourself is, is the narrative right? It's the same with the recession idea, right? If everybody knows it to be, then everybody's positioned for it. So in which case, imagine if Solana continues to do well and their hacker houses continue to build great products and they get traction in places that we didn't expect. They're one announcement or something, some adoption moment away from everybody having to panic. And if I look at the chart of the ETH Solana ratio, it's been this beautiful downtrend. And it's touching its nose up against that thing. Now, does it break out? I don't know. I don't have a huge bet in Solana, but I have a bet. And I would, if I saw the right situation, move some of my ETH into Solana. And that applies to other things too. But what Solana is interesting is it got battle tested. Right? Others haven't been battle tested. Polygon's not really been battle tested in the same way yet. You know, we haven't seen the full size of the community. Solana is very vibrant. So that's why... You, know, you battle test something, you got the Lindy effect where it survived. And then we have a crypto spring and bull market arriving. And we can see real economic activity going on there. Okay, I like that. So what Raul is saying is that if every investor is thinking the same thing, he's willing to make a bet on the counter narrative. And I do clear up, this isn't so much a long term thing. This is just a trade for you, right? It's not I'm, what I'm hearing is it's not so much long term. You're willing to take the bet. The no, anti I, I, I'm, I'll take this bet for the next, you know, for this whole cycle. So, you know, I'll take that bet for two years and wait and see. Now, if it doesn't play out and something happens, I, I'll change it because it's not my core. Well, ETH, I won't change, you know, sure. I might eventually use some of my ETH for some other stuff and some other bets where I think it might outperform ETH. But generally, that's my core position. Um, and then, you know, we'll see how it goes. Now, the final thing we ask Raul is the obligatory price prediction for Solana. If this is a trade, what are your price expectations? Bitcoin gets, let's say, 120K to 150K this cycle. If Ethereum is getting close to 10K this cycle, Solana could maybe get it to what this cycle? Thousand? Dare to dream. Dare to dream. You know, like maybe it. not. Maybe it's 500. Maybe it's back to the all-time high. Hey. Any of those are all great outcomes. You know, we'll, any of us will take that. So we've got a battle-tested chain that has real economic activity that can go from wherever we are today, $24 to $240, whatever the high was, 283 I can't remember, whatever it was, is, well, okay, I'll take the 12X. That's the worst case. Give me your thoughts on Solana down below.
And of course, for more clips, be sure to click subscribe. You do not want to miss a daily video.